Okay, uh, welcome back everyone. Uh, this is the final turn of Firestorm Gazala. Uh, we've done some bits behind the scenes, so, so just all the movements and things that needed to happen in order to produce the game, so we're just going to uh, talk you through. Uh, once again, I'm Mark Goddard from Break for Assault, and I have with me uh, Tom from uh, No Dice, No Glory. Say hello, Tom. Hello, Tom. Hey, everybody. How are you all doing? So, uh, what happened then? So basically, uh, we did the reinforcement phase. Uh, Tom had got his, uh, his units come back on. Uh, he reinforced uh, Knightsbridge uh, with the second division there, uh, and then also uh, pushed forward uh, to reinforce uh, Al I'm gonna I'm gonna pronounce it properly, the, uh, Al Aladdin. Yeah, we brought the Indians up into that one. Yeah so he's reinforced his line there and then made sure that uh, Tobruk East which is the one that was being threatened by Rommel uh, was also protected as well there so um, a fair bit you actually only rolled two you only you only actually got to move two units because your dice roll so you're a bit limited but I think you got everything roughly where right. you needed them yeah that was two was probably just enough so for my re reinforcements, uh, I uh, shuffled around uh, some tanks so I could get both sets of panzers into one place because, yeah, that's a really significant firestorm unit. That's 40 points right there. Um, so I wanted to get them for a really heavy-handed punch. Um, and then actually down here, he's, we'll tell you what's happened. They, the Italian tanks, uh, the M14s, came into here. Now, we actually rolled up... Um, with all that in place, we actually rolled up five missions, uh, five battles to happen. But we've done one of them behind the scenes. Um, the one you can't see is I put a attack uh, with uh, the tanks, and I think it was the yeah, it was the Panzer, it was the Africa Corps um, infantry as well uh, into this fortified zone. Uh, I had. Uh, Basically, I lost by one one on the dice, wasn't it, really? Um, so I was actually prevented yes. from getting in. Um, and I actually destroyed his Hurricanes, which were committed to the battle. Uh, but I lost the Italian tanks in it as well. And unfortunately, that used my supply marker from this zone. So um, we actually had another four battles to go. We rolled up the initiative for them. Um, the first four battles were all my initiative. So what we wanted to do was give you guys the chance to um, take this key area it's worth 20 victory points and is key to the german offensive because if this position falls suddenly everything comes back into command because of this road network that comes down here um, shifts all the way around the airfield and all the way up um, into here as well and brings those italians into command so it's really key so we thought we'd give you the chance to uh, to play that one out so i have launched an attack um I've launched an attack with the Africa Corps uh, with some Italian support. Uh, defended, these are the French, but uh, they're 25 pounders when we play the game. Uh, and it's a fortified zone uh, over the minefield as well. So it's gonna be tough. And the key thing is um, they are out of supply. It's a big deal. Uh, so um, I'll, when we publish up the article on, on how that's fought, you'll see um, you'll see the rules for that that you have to roll for in the battle but a um, bit of a last turn gambit on, on my point of view to try and get those 20, 20 points in there. Uh, the first battle we actually rolled up uh, to go back to the beginning was this one here 30 victory points up for grabs uh, and you know pretty much the best thing I can put forward so that is going to give whoever plays this eight Panzer three shorts coming into that position so that is a hugely awesome bit of firepower coming in there um, and it's going to be defended by the Grants and Hurricanes uh, so no minefields quite an open battle um, to all those Axis players out there I've given you a really good shot there you have I'm using my fuel marker for that so you have um, you have fuel uh, I just need you to uh, to take that position and that will force them force them back uh, and get us those key victory points Again, second, second, uh, the next battle we got, second battle here. Um, I haven't got a lot to go in, but to be honest, it was either go in or I'd probably end up getting attacked anyway. Um, so 
what I wanted to do here, put Rommel in with some air support and we can go and take to Brook East here. So um, it's not actually going to get victory points, it's kind of a a satisfaction point to be able to take to Brook at the uh, at least part of the yeah, Brook at the end of the game. For honor. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what Rommel's all about. He, you know, <laughs> he's, he's not one to sit back, so I thought it'd be the correct theme to push him in. Uh, so that's going to be Rommel, which gives you that eight inch command bubble. Um, air support, so the Stukas again, uh, versus this is going to be really tough. Four 25 pounders, three grants. Um, tough guys, really, really tough. But you're in supply because of the supply dump that's there. Uh, the final one, the Brits got um, the Brits got the advantage on. Um, and they're going to be attacking and trying to take the Italians positions in the center here at uh, Beral Hamat. Uh, so I've put up uh, I've put up some Italian infantry and I've actually gone with the Stukas here as well because it's going to be a tank force coming in. Um, the Brits are going to get three Crusaders and they're going to get three Matildas. Now um, the Matildas are a fan, well kind of homemade card that got put up on the battlefront website i'll publish the details on the article as well but if you don't have them then um, obviously you can use alternate points for those um, if you want to be as close as possible then you could look at using uh, the points for valentine's very similar tank and there's tank. there's a unit card for them in uh, uh, jokel's uh, firestorm campaign packet there's one actually in oh there. i love it well, i'll copy the image and uh, and get it on there so everyone can uh, use them if you've got them um I can't remember if they're, they're very, very similar to Valentine's, aren't they? I can't remember what the difference is. Um, uh, better armor. Uh, are they armor seven? Well, the two pounder gun. Are they front armor seven? I'm dialing him in right here. Uh, the Valentines are front armor six and the Matildas, uh, where are the Matildas? Matildas are front armor seven. Ooh, that is significant. That is, that is nasty 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 um but like i say you yeah, know if you, have, if you want to play you with, with a, it would but, be especially nasty if you're playing with an all italian force because the only thing that can take them out would be the uh the 90 millimeter guns and 88 guns yeah and uh, that's why i wanted to throw that stuka up uh, but they, they are a bit more vulnerable from the side and obviously in assault they're still top armor one i hope no they're top armor two from Matilda. <laughs> how many <laughs> How many points are these bad boys? Uh, on the card that he put in there, there are no points because it's just a firestorm unit. It just says reinforce your your company with a Matilda two armored troop. Uh, so I don't I don't see. Points okay, on I'll go on there uh, because the card is up on the battlefront yeah. website, so I'll find the equivalent points if people want to use them. But um, yeah, ooh, they are tough. I might get some. I might well, get some it's, it's another, Besides the. Uh, Besides the operational considerations of this this, this game, uh, I was kind of keen to put that attack in just so people could actually play Matildas because probably we haven't they haven't not been involved in any battles yet, so we, we got them in there for folks now. Yeah, absolutely. That's um, that's going to be a tough one to my to my generals. I recommend um, oh, what's the Italian one called? It's the little it's the little bombs that the infantry have it gives them anti tank uh, anti tank three in assault. Uh, Pass Passagelli bombs or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that could that Pass could be useful. Yeah. And yeah. then you're going to have to rely on your uh, your 88s and your Lanciers, um, and then German allies. I like the seven, the captured 7.62s. They um, you can take those as allied formation support, and they're they're pretty good. Uh, that they're 8012, which is still at long range is getting a bit dicey, but it it gives just helps the Italians with a little bit of firepower there um because they really do struggle once you get above front armor six they're really going to have a well anything above front armor five they the italians really have a bad day on their own <laughs> uh but the key remember there you're defending I the, don't... Some eventes. yeah some eventes anti-tank eight but the heat round's really nice because you can you can obviously sit back as long as you can hit the thing um but yeah, the key thing is, remember, it's unusual for the for the Germans so far, is you're defending. So you can quite happily create a, an 88 or a, a Lancia kind of gun line and bring, you know, bring them to you. And don't be afraid to pop those guns at long range to keep them alive you know, from ambush. A uh, 488's ambush at long range is a sight to behold, uh, even if you do hit on fives because of it. Uh, cool. Um, 
well everybody that is the games you can play for this round uh we've deliberately not counted up the victory points uh where we are at the minute because um we wanted to be a surprise depending what's taken rather than uh, rather than trying to game it and see what the outcome will be yet uh, the key thing is I can't get the auto win by taking the whole of Tobruk. So, so I have been slowed down in my advance that I can't take that. Um, but there is the opportunity here to um, to certainly capture uh, not only uh, Barakim, uh, but capture those, uh, capture those. Oh, no, I can't capture the guns because they'd be just. No, yeah. So if I destroyed that, I'd capture those guns as well because they can't push back to another location. So yeah, so I could get another, uh, five points there. another five victory points there. Yeah, that's correct because the uh, the British attack from the north comes after that, so they won't have a chance to uh, uh, seize the B three area to give them a place to fall back to. Uh, yeah. So um, although having said that, we'd have to see how that works because obviously if I don't destroy it, it's a fortified zone, so you'd still be there anyway. So actually, it either gets destroyed or that area doesn't get taken so actually this is really key for the german actually, players is if you <laughs> not only do you need to win this out of, out of supply but you need to win big guys so you know don't hold back like, it doesn't matter if these firestorm troops my firestorm troops get destroyed just go for it but make sure that you're not you know you're protecting your units and you know go for the win don't forget, but don't bleed uh, the points out for six three you need you need to get some big wins here so that we can um, have a really good roll on the dice to try and destroy the french because if we destroy the french we take the position if we win and don't destroy the french then um they lose the fortified marker but we won't actually take the area and get the victory points and uh don't don't forget the italians in a b3 are also out of supply Yes, I think I mentioned that earlier on there, but good point because we'll put the marker to remind people because um, I had to send their supplies through to um, through to the other units uh, earlier on. So yeah, pretty tough. Although, I just want to check that. Do they not count as in supply because of the special rule about it about the rule about the supplies coming across the line? There is that just when they shift the two tokens over. We'll work that out. Right, no, so they. Yeah, you bring over the soup, the two supply tokens over, and you decide what to do with them. After that, though, there's no line of supply uh, to right, the, uh, okay. the west, so you would have to have left one marker with them. Roger. Well, you know, we've got a, we, we've we've supplied the Panzers. Uh, you know, luckily, not a lot's going to affect whatever you roll on the table for the out of supply. It won't really affect the aircraft um, and the infantry. Uh, you know, lack of ammo and. Uh, obviously low on fuel isn't going to affect the infantry so hopefully we've mitigated that a little bit uh, but we shall see yeah and you could always roll a six they could be fearless uh, they, or, I mean, wow that would be around, amazing so for I, the italians uh, if you got that, that and rolled a vanti yeah. so, yeah, so, sometimes uh sometimes it can work out in your favor one out of six chances for that yeah that would that would be scary imagine um Imagine Italian tanks with plus one motivation and then roll Devante. They'll be doing everything on a two plus, I think. Because uh, they already get a two plus remount with, um, when they get past their Devante roll. Is it the Avanti? Am I set? Is that the right rule? Oh, the million, the, the, oh, um, the, the million bayonets roll. That's what I mean. Not Avanti. Right. Cool. Really help. Uh, well, everyone, uh, I'll write this up. Uh, it's Sunday here now, so I'm going to get the videos uploaded tonight. So I'll write the article tomorrow. Um, we'll get that uploaded as soon as we can, and that'll give you about a couple of weeks or so to fight those battles out. As it's the final turn, if we need to, we'll, we'll give it a little bit longer on the battles. We'll see where we are week after, weekend after next, um, and then we'll just record the last um, the last video, and uh, that will be the end of Firestorm Gazala. We'll see what's happened. So uh, until then, thanks a lot for listening. Cheers. Bye.